Okay. Hi there. We're here today with uh, Jeffrey Isaacson from the Bethesda Project in Philadelphia. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi there. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the Bethesda Project has been an organization that the Giving Tree has worked with for a few years, and we've been sending you uh, lots of great items that our students have been making. And we'd like to talk with you a little bit so you can share uh, some of your experience um, working in the city with the homeless population and also working with the Giving Tree and our students. So if you'd like, tell us a little bit about what the Bethesda Project does. Yeah, so we've actually been around since 1979 and we operate 15 locations for individuals experiencing homelessness. So that includes emergency shelter for people currently experiencing homelessness, and then housing sites for people that were formerly homeless. And a lot of those uh, housing sites are single rooms, but then shared kitchens and bathrooms with staff on site to set people up for success and are basically pay what you can. Uh, and then we operate some completely independent housing as well. Uh, overall, we serve over uh, 1,400 men and women experiencing homelessness in Philadelphia. Wow, that's a lot of people. Um, yeah. Can you think of anything recently that's been happening in the city that might just be making things more challenging for you to help everyone that you're trying to help? Yeah, so, you know, obviously the what's been going on is the COVID pandemic. Uh, so trying to keep everyone as safe as possible, especially in, uh, you know, communal living environments. It's a little bit different than, you know, when I go home, I can take off my mask. I'm not around anyone else. So trying to keep everyone safe uh, as possible in, in the current environment and keeping everyone's spirits up uh, as, you know, we're all feeling a lot of anxiety and, and a lot of stuff going on in the news. Right, sure. How do, they, how do you find the Giving Tree gifts and the cards that we're able to send to you uh, help you out in terms of what you're trying to do with your clients? And more specifically, how do they make the homeless population feel when you're able to hand those out? Yeah, so when we get cards, especially from, you know, groups like the Giving Tree, it's so great. You know, we have a suspended volunteering back in March of 2020 and haven't really resumed at all. So our guests and residents are used to volunteers coming in, doing big events, doing bingo, coming together, doing picnics. And so all that's kind of been on hold for the last couple of years. Um, so the cards really let people, our guests and residents know that people in the community are out there thinking of them. You know, we're all in this together and it can, you know, help brighten their day, even just one card. Um, you know, that person sees that and lets someone know they're thinking about them and kind of connects them to, to the outer world. Uh, and hopefully we can get, get through this together. Yes, absolutely. So if, if someone only had the chance to give just one gift or make just one card, in your experience, tell me how important that is, even if it's just one. Yeah, so yeah, one card, you know, like I said, especially at our, our housing sites, people are a little bit more kind of isolated anyway. And with COVID have even been more, you know, staying in their rooms. Uh, so even we can just give that one card to one resident, it could make their day, you know, maybe they're just sitting in their room bored, maybe they have a TV and watching the news and, you know, lots of stuff going on. So just that one card, hearing from somebody out there, letting them know somebody's thinking about them, we'll get through this together and it'll be over soon can just make a world of difference. Also, a lot of our uh, guests and residents maybe have lived on the street for a while and have been used to being ignored. So, uh, you know, just letting them know that, you know, their humanity is valuable and that somebody's thinking of them can make such a big difference. Right. And they say sometimes individuals experiencing homelessness, they they just don't get those, those sentences of warmth and even somebody just saying their name. Yeah, I mean, I think the, um, the kind of, issue of homelessness can sometimes be like, it's like the homeless, it's like a blob of people and maybe even a little bit scary. Um, so, you know, what we, we like to say is, you know, everyone's a person and that's just a situation they're at in life, um, but they still deserve dignity and acknowledgement. So that card, you know, lets them know that they're still worth, you know, yeah. getting that card and, and being acknowledged just as much as anyone else. Exactly. Well, that's great. Well, I really wish you a lot of luck with what you're doing out there every day, helping everybody. And we're going to keep sending you things because I know the snacks that we send you are probably very helpful. I'm sure people are definitely hungry. Um, and yeah. I know we just sent you lots of sock rolls and we had tons of students making the, the socks with the snacks. And we're hoping that that was very helpful in the winter months as well. Yeah, so, everyone loves snacks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
So if, um, so I guess we'll sign off, but I really appreciate your time and we would love to be able to share your words with our students just to let them know how much, you know, their good work is doing. Thank you. Yeah, this has been great and keep up the good work and hopefully we'll get all through this together. <laughs> yes, definitely. Thank you.